Hi, this video is to show you how to uh, remove some off from your PV chart and also from your PV table. So this video is also going to show you some skills with PV table. So to get started, the first thing I have to do, I will select the uh, data that I want to include in my PV table and PV chart. So what I am doing now is highlight the effects uh, column here and then uh, click on Control Shift and then click on the down arrow by your right just before the numbers. So that will highlight the specific uh, set of data that I highlighted from the first row uh, there. Now, before I proceed to demonstrate how to do this on PV table, I uh, we advise that you subscribe to my channel so that future videos will be populated to you once I release those information. And also remember to like this video just for YouTube to be able to share it to other viewers. Now, the first step that you have to take is the thing that we've done selecting the data that you need. And then you go to insert. When you go to insert, you will normally find pivot table here and then the recommended pivot table. Do not choose this because this will not give you the pivot table chart, except if you have to choose the pivot table chart later. So the best option is to choose the pivot table chart, which is this option you have here. And specifically click on the done arrow here and then you choose the pivot table chart, the pivot chart and the table. If you just choose the pivot chart, it's going to give you only the pivot chart. If you choose the pivot chart and the pivot table, it's going to give you these two information for your report. Now, when you click on this, um, of course, uh, I'm going to let it go to a new uh, sheet. Otherwise, if I'm using this existing sheet that I display here, I can choose use existing sheet and then come to this location and select the location of this sheet anywhere that I would like it to be. So I want mine to go to a new sheet and I'll click OK. <clears throat> one thing that you notice here is that you have two tables. One is the PV table. So one is the PV chart. Whatever the uh, report you are generating for the PV table, the PV chart will automatically be generated as well. Now, <clears throat> what I will do, uh, I have this data here which is a membership and we have the um, amount and other type of information, the product and the yen. So I'm just going to choose the yen as my, um, one of my ASICs and I will include the, uh, as you could see, they are there, but I will uh, show you how you can uh, separate these two so they could be on different column if you don't not need that. So before I start demonstrating the pivot table option, I will actually have to do this. So here you can click anywhere here and then click on design. And once you click on design, you go to uh, report layout. When you click on report layout, you click on repeat all item. Uh, that is the first step. And I click on tabular form. So when I click on tabular form, remember, I need the repeat all item. So those items could be here. So basically you could see this item here. And if I don't want the total, I will remove the total from each of the column. So to do that, you go to the grand total or subtotal. You say, do not show subtotal. You go to grand total, you say, do uh, off. Uh, you could say off uh, for row total. So they are gone. So you have the yen and then you have the product, which is the G products I am demonstrating. Now you go back to the pivot tables isolation center and you choose the variables you want to calculate or the items you want to calculate. I want to calculate um, perhaps the, like the page information or the amount. And so uh, what you can find from here is that you have this value here. Now you can see how the year is demonstrated here and then the products are demonstrated in the S axis. And then the uh, page numbers or the amount, if you like, are demonstrated on the S uh, on the Y axis. And at the same time, I have that on my pivot table uh, uh, that I'm going to include as my report. So this is uh, very straightforward on the process on which you calculate the X. And the next, if I want more information, I may move this one if I don't want that amount. If I just want the membership, I may have the membership here. All right, those who are member and the non-members. They have this kind of beautiful chart for comparison. You can always expand your chart. Uh, it doesn't have to be on this, uh, this size. 
click on one of these arrows and then expand the chart so you could see it better. And of course, you could also change the chart. Uh, before I show you the how to remove the sum if so that you have a more professional chart, uh, just have it as membership and a member. I, I'm going to show you if you don't like this chart you see, you could always change it. You right click anywhere on this chart and then you click on change chart type. And then that will give you these other options. You can see this option here, you might like this one. Then you click on that one. So it basically show you this other form of chart. And of course it shows the year and the, the product, very straightforward and very simple. Now to remove this sum if, uh, again, it's a logical process. Um, just simply come here, click on your home and um, click anywhere on the data. You want to remove the sum if here. So you could see from here, click on the table, not necessarily the chart. I could also click on the chart, but after time, once you click on the chart, the I, this other option here becomes um, disabled. So the best way is to click somewhere on the PV table, like what I have here. And then that gives you this other option here. This is the function you need. And then come here and I click on final select, click on the done arrow here, and then choose replace. On the replace, uh, you see how I have this sum if here. Assuming there was nothing on yours, you just type sum if, a uh, sum of rather. So sum of will remove the sum of, and then you just have the variable there, and then you replace on. Type nothing here, don't type replace with, just leave it blank and click on replace on. You can see here, all done, we replace one. All right, we made one replacement, click OK. That will eventually replace everything that you have there. So um, if I actually want to replace everything at the same time, I could have actually clicked here as well because I highlighted this particular one. So no highlights, I just click, come back here, click replace, again, replace all. So if you have multiple variables to have replaced all the sum if that you have on your chart, and that makes your chart looks more professional. Now, if you were to change this title that you have here, you can literally go back to the data here and change this data, uh, the title, and then come back to your pivot table and refresh your pivot table. Right click on it and then click refresh. It is as simple as that. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if this video is useful to you.